Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fabia. And today I will be talking about the Sankey heated propagator. Well, I'm not going to be talking about it. I'm going to do a an unboxing and show you how it works. And obviously, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of sofro. And I will do a review if it is more efficient than you, normal uh, sewing. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to open it up here. It's got the... Oh, I'm going to destroy it. Ooh. And this is what it looks like inside. I'm just going to pull it out. And this is what's inside. I'm going to put this on the back. <clears throat> Got a bit of paper, you don't need. You get the lead, which is hot plastic, and it's got the ventilator thing. So this is the the top bit. Then we have obviously the plug, a user manual. <clears throat> and uh, I'm not going to bore you with all this stuff then you get these two trays which go so it's a bit dark these two trays which go at the back here no it doesn't, it goes this way they go this way <laughs> like this so I'm not going to be using these because I just don't like, you know, picking, dividing stuff and it's just too much. Then you get the <laughs> that's capillary, capillary mat, which helps. I was reading about it. I never used it before and uh, it helps with the um, water. So it absorbs the water and then obviously the roots will reach to this mat and then it will uh, suck the water or take the water as they you know as they need so something new that i'm going to be trying and this is the actual propagator this is where the water goes okay it's all waterproof do not emerge in water made in england what i'm going to do is put the mat here I'm going to add, let me just show you guys, from the previous video I've shown you a Wilco order that I've placed, a Wilco hold, and I'm just going to put it in with this, it's 40 cells, uh, and it fits quite perfectly in, you can see, it's it's a bit of a jiggly juggly thing, but obviously once it's going to be full of uh, soil, it will stay put. And it's got 40 cells all together, and this is more than enough for me, because I only have two balconies to work with, and they're not very big balconies, so uh, I don't have much space. I'm going to be putting the soil in here. Choose the seeds that I'm going to be planting. There's a few that I bought recently. Uh, maybe I can just show you. I went to Poundland and I got um, for a pound you get six different variety of uh, vegetables. I've got loads of flower seeds, so I'm not going to bother with that. But I will be planting some. I'll probably tell you, you know what I've planted. Uh, this is the lettuce. Uh, spring onions, radishes, cress, I love cress, uh, cucumber and tomato, salad tomato, so it would be like the big tomato. Then we have the serrano, chile, coriander, I'm not going to deal with coriander because I don't like coriander, parsley or anything of that sorts of things. <laughs> Japanese greens, I think, is a... So oriental mix, Mizuna and mustard. I don't think I ever tried 
those kind of salads. So I'm going to try that. Chili cayenne. Um, uh, I had I was overwintering a plant, and it died. So uh, I'll probably plant this. Uh, then I have cinnamon basil. I want to try that. I'm really curious to see how this works, how this will come out. And then I've got pak choy here, which I love uh, because of aphids. Uh, the um, pak choy has gone into seeds, so I'm just going to collect the seeds because, well, last year I made a research, you know, if uh, if it's good for, to make your vegetables or your flowers go to seeds, and it is because, um, for example, um, let me just tell you a quick story. Uh, last year I had spinach that I, I think I bought uh, the, um, the plug plant. I planted it and then it was attacked by the aphids. So it went into seeds and I collected the seeds and this year it has not been touched by the aphids and outside the patchoy is full of aphids so i'm assuming genetically improves you know um how to fight aphids maybe i don't know don't quote me on this but it's you know it's fact um the aphids are um, have made my patchoy going to seeds and quite close in very close proximity there's the spinach you will be able to see in my video, which I have um, done a <clears throat> a tour of my on my balcony, one of my balconies, and you can see the spinach is quite close to the aphids. Uh, to the <laughs> yeah, I mean to the aphids, the pak choy. So yeah, I'm gonna fill this up, plant whatever I need to plant. I'm not gonna bore you with that stuff, you know. Everyone knows how to sow seeds, and then we're gonna add water, and I will be um seeing what happens in the next few days i have planted all the seeds and hopefully they will sprout thanks to the heating element mm -hmm. 